Here's the day in the life of a radiographer. I've been asked to do this day in the life video a lot, so here it is. I've been working as a radiographer for about eight years now, since 2017, which is my final year of my master's at university. And since then, I've done my PhD, I've got a lecturing position, and I've been making videos like this. But I've always made sure to keep my foot in the clinical world just to keep my skills up. So anyway, it's a Saturday morning. I wake up, as all great days begin, drag myself into the bathroom, wash my face, dry it, give the beard a little trim to keep it at bay, and then also shape it a bit with a cutthroat razor. Such an intense name, jeez. I wash my face off again, and then brush my teeth. Now I didn't shower here because I got an 8am boxing class booked in, so I'll shower after that at the gym. But first, obviously, coffee. So the next destination is the kitchen to make one before I do anything else. Okay, I lied. I have to give my little boy some belly rubs. Isn't he the best? But as soon as I do that, then I'm headed for the coffee. Got this cool smeg coffee machine that we got from my lovely in-laws. So here's me precisely measuring out some coffee not really and then letting it do its thing then i warm and froth up some milk with the nozzle on the side because i'm fancy like that and of course with some chocolate powder because i like to tell myself it's a cappuccino if you're a radiographer or sonographer looking for your next role, then Unite Healthcare, who is very kindly sponsoring this video, is a name you should know. They're Australia's leading medical imaging recruitment specialist, and they don't just throw jobs at you. Their consultants actually take the time to understand what you're after. Whether it's a leadership role, or you want to relocate interstate, or you simply want to earn more in the setting that you enjoy. The team at Unite Healthcare have placed thousands of professionals, from new grads to senior leaders, in roles across every state and across every modality from x-ray to ct mri mammography and ultrasound and if you're an overseas trained radiographer then they've even got pathways to help you get started in australia so if you're even just thinking about your next step reach out to them the team is always happy to chat i'll leave a link down below to their details and website so do check them out if you're looking for a job or you know you will be looking for one in the near future all right let's keep going good morning the day started got the coffee going and with my coffee, I have this brown thing. I don't think anyone knows really what this is, but I'm kind of using this as my breakfast because I have a boxing session coming up at eight o'clock, 8.10. It's now just about, I'm um, just after seven. So this is basically a mixture of tahini and date syrup. This is as ethnic as it gets. It's amazing, it's delicious. Each spoon has like a million calories, so I wouldn't recommend this as a regular breakfast, but given that I have a training session coming up before work, I'm treating myself. And normally when I wake up, one of the first things that I do is check my sleep. I'm just gonna do that now. And I just do that through the, the Whoop app. So let's see how I did in my sleep last night. Excellent, five hours and 12 minutes. Not ideal, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I slept at 12.56 a.m. and I woke up at 6.30. That's when my alarm went off, just to give me enough time to wake up and make my coffee and pack my bag. And then really get started for the day. Realistically, I don't really need to leave the house until about 7.30, 7.40. Also, I feel like only Persians can really relate to this or other ethnic people, but this is legitimately delicious. It's kind of like a mixture between Biscoff and caramel, I had to say, yeah. It's really good. And once I finish my coffee, I'm going to go pack my bag for the gym and um, work. So I'll see you there. All right, so I've had my coffee. I'm going to pack my bags. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, the whoop band to the black one because I think that's a little bit more appropriate for today's outfits. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Done. Now let's first pack my uh, gym bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is pack a towel because I'm going to shower at the gym. And I'm going straight from the gym to work and put my towel in. Then I got my gym towel itself. So this is what I'm going to be using to wipe off the tremendous amount of sweat that I'm going to have. My Lumis Imaging shirt and pants, black pants, and obviously my boxing gloves. So these are, will go on my wrist and then we'll put the actual boxing gloves at the gym themselves. Now I do need some socks. All right, socks have been acquired. That is basically done. That's my gym bag. So I'm going to now pack my actual work bag or just everything else into this sort of backpack over here. And I'm just gonna show you the sort of essentials that I take to work every day. Okay, so the number one thing is the MacBook Pro. This is my baby. Everything is housed on this and I wouldn't be able to do this or any of my other work without this. So I love this thing. That goes in. The other thing I also put in is my drawing tablet in case I have time to do some drawings um, for some upcoming videos and ideas. I always sort of put that in a slot in front of the laptop. In addition to that, of course, I have my charger. So this is a very long cable charger, USB-C that'll charge my laptop and other devices. Put that in there. Pawpaw, lip gloss, lip gloss, 
just lip balm whatever it is just to keep my lips dry particularly in this um, cold weather it does usually go dry i have my markers left and right markers over here okay with my prm so that's something that i need to actually swap, swap out today and my key fob that i use to log into our riz system and the thing that sort of holds it to my pants okay, so i'm going to pop that in there hand it all because you never know when you get headaches some cables this cable is for my drawing pad this is for my phone so this is a usb-c to lightning because i still have an iphone 13 pro I haven't upgraded to the latest yet and i'm going to obviously have my mic stuff in there an extra lens um, which i might need and always 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 my airpods this is something that I, I always carry with me. Not so much for the gym today because it's a class, but anytime I'm going gym or anytime I'm at work, it's always good to have these handy. So I'm gonna pop that into the in my bag. In addition to my watch, which I wear all the time, and also my ring. So I'm not gonna wear that now. I'm gonna put it in my bag so I can wear it after I shower at the gym. Um, oh, I also forgot I need my belt for later on in the day. So I'm gonna put that in my gym bag. Water bottle, of course. Oh, and cannot forget, the trusty samsung ssd so i use this basically to edit all my clips all the big files that i have um, from this camera all go on that so all editing is done from there other than that there's a few lens caps which i may or may not bring it's the actual mic box that this goes into and of course my phone okay Well, clearly he's having a morning. Anyway, um, so this is I was this is my phone. Carry that with me. I love this thing. This little pop socket thing, pop wallet. Okay, I always just hold my phone like that. Cannot go without it. Okay. Also, sometimes on occasion, I might bring my sort of Sony headphones. These are the noise cancelling ones. I believe of the X XM3s. And I bring this for video editing, potentially, if I do. Because the AirPods are, are Bluetooth connection, so they kind of lag. This I can connect with a cable, an aux cable, and it has noise cancelling. Not really relevant for, for work, clinical, but yeah, that's something that I usually do take in. And sometimes I might also bring this in as well. So this is basically a little MagSafe camera holder for my phone, where if I wanted to record something from my phone i will just connect this like that connect that to the tripod and we're good to go anyways so that's basically the bags uh what's the time it is 7 37 okay we to get ready for the gym see you there now every time i leave i'm met with this face which just makes it infinitely harder to leave anyway so i pick everything up then take my gym bag and head off i then walk downstairs get into the car turn it on and set my maps if I need to. In this case, the gym and work is pretty close, so I know the way. But anyway, today is a cool 14 degrees, which is actually pretty nice. Can't complain at all. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. The sun's up. Excited for work today. I always say hopefully it's not too busy because I get to do other things in between. I'm driving to the gym now. I'm a few minutes late, I'm not going to lie. So hopefully we get there in time to park, put my gloves on, and go in and have a good session. So we have obviously work from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And today in Australia, it is election day. <laughs> So after work, I'm going to go home, pick up my wife, and we're gonna be going to one of our local schools to um, cast our vote for our next prime minister. And then at nighttime, we have some plans with some old colleagues of mine, actually, so that we're gonna to go to the city. I think we're having Italian, so I'm keen for that, keen to see them. They're my old radiography colleagues, which are, each of us are now in different avenues of life. And it's good after a while to reach out to see some old friends, see how they're doing, and what part of life they're in. And some of us compared to before have gotten married, they're got engaged some have kids so it's good to come together and see how things are but anyways more on that a little later i'll see you at the gym i then went to the gym i did some boxing had some fun even though i suck at it but anyway it was a great session also if you're not nearly inducing a boxer's fracture then what are you doing anyway so i went to the shower put on my loomis shirt and i blow dried my hair because that's all guys really need to do all right so the gym is done i'm going to show you guys my workout screen right now pretty intense one i was sweating a lot but really made me ready for the day i'm gonna have some hydrolyte essentially for some hydration because hydration is key also partially because i'm starving and there's i don't really have access to food right now until i get to work what about two hydrolytes give that a minute or so to dissolve then i'll sip on that on my way to work which is basically just across the road so it's not too far i believe it's 9 20 ish 9 20 a.m at the moment work starts at 10 so i'm going to go in a little bit earlier just set up set up my laptop maybe look at some emails and yeah go from there i'll see you at work
So I started driving and it's only about a two minute drive to work, which is super nice. And if you're interested, I've been listening to Hurry Up Tomorrow on repeat since it came out. Baptized in fear and open hearts are the absolute goat and I will not be questioned on it. So I've arrived at work, I'm in the car park, I'm yet to go up. But I had a thought the other day, I'm considering buying the Ray-Ban Metas because I'm in the market for sunglasses or just glasses in general. And they do have a camera and I thought it would be cool to use that to do sort of hands-on videos, whether it's Oskis or any other type of um, demo or tutorial. What do you guys think? Should I get them? Should I not? Leave a comment down. I might consider it. I'm 50-50 at the moment. And one of the reasons is there's two limitations on it. One is that it only allows me to record up to three minutes, I believe. And it only does it in portrait orientation. I mean, it's mainly for Instagram. So I, I get that. See how we go. But let me know what you think. Should I get them? Should I not get them? So once I go up, I turn on the lights. I'm a bit early today, so that's why no one's here yet. I had to change my PRM today as the old one had to be sent out. A PRM, by the way, is a personal radiation monitor. It's what we wear near our hips. I put it on my marker holder like this, and it monitors how much radiation we've received. So if it's too high in a given period of time, then the governing bodies will let us know. Once I do that, then I'm ready for the day. I turn on the CT, then the x-ray machine, the x-ray console, log into Visage, which is our RIS system, the radiology information system that we see our patient list and their referrals on. Then once the CT is on, I do the daily air calibration to ensure it's ready and the tube is warmed up before I scan my first patient. So today wasn't too bad. Started out without that many patients, but then as soon as I got some time to make some morning tea, or rather breakfast for me, I had a bunch of patients show up. And here's just me getting the x-ray room ready for my next patient. And now the same for the CT bed. Okay, it's 11.15, finally. I'm having breakfast. Two Yo Pros, 30 grams of protein. Let's go. Trying to multitask here, but my God, I have terrible posture here. I blame the desk height. Probably should have sat down for this one. And that's a wrap. So I had about 11 x-ray patients and four CTs. So not too bad. Pretty cruisy. Uh, I'm going to start packing things up now. Packing the x uh, Turning off the CT and x-ray. Uh, packing all the chairs, which we have an abundance of. I don't know how many chairs <laughs> you need in a department. Um, and off to the next location. So then I drove home and immediately as I came home, I met with this bundle of joy and energy. Every time it feels like he hasn't seen me for years, even though it's been like four hours. Honestly, we don't deserve dogs. Oh, and also it was election day here in Australia. So after I rested a bit, my wife and I went to our local high school to cast our votes for our next prime minister, which was quite fun. And then while we were there, my wife showed me around her old high school, which was definitely nostalgic for her. And for me, it was more like, damn, some people's high schools are like this. Okay, so voting is done. We're back home now. It's about 5.14 PM. We're about to head out tonight to dinner with some old friends, some radiography friends. I'm just going to chill in the next 45 minutes or so. I'm going to have a grapefruit. I love grapefruit. This is my top three fruits of all time. Top one probably being watermelon and top three cherries, maybe, I want to say. Yeah, anyway, not relevant. The place that we're going is called Regina La Pizzeria. Very excited about this. The person that booked this is an extreme foodie, so I very much trust her taste. So we're going to go there. It's in Redfern area. Drive up relatively soon, see some friends, and enjoy the night. So yeah, see you there. And that's a wrap. We then went out for dinner and had a great time. Started off with these and then had a bunch of different pizzas. Would recommend this place. Anyways, that's it for the day in the life of a radiographer. If you want to see a day in the life of a lecturer, my main current role, leave a like and comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Now click here to watch my other video if you want to up your presentation game like no other. I can guarantee you'll find that really useful. See you there. Stay curious.